When selecting a location, it's much easier to erect the stand if you have a level site. If you cannot find a level site that you want to use, you can take a shovel and dig out from underneath the legs. But it is very important that the stand be level. The uh, first step is to start unpackaging the stand and we start spreading out all the pieces and get everything organized so we know where we're going to go with everything. Uh, one other thing you might think about on your stand is how you're going to shoot out of it, so which direction you need to turn it, where you want the ladder, access up into it. That's very important. Uh, it's a lot easier to build it in the direction that you want it rather than turn it around later. After you've selected your side, there's a few tools you need to assemble your redneck line. very basic tools. You need a shovel, a small level, a 7 16 wrench or socket, a 9 16 wrench and socket, and a two or three pound hammer or a small sledgehammer. All the bolts on the redneck blind are 9 16 except for the cable clamps and they are 7 16 uh, It's very simple. Uh, all the bolts are the same length except for six bolts that bolt the handrail and the line to the base. The first thing you want to do is scatter all your pieces out and get them organized and then take your instruction sheet and go through all the parts and make sure that you have all the parts to assemble the redneck line.
me. The next step is leveling the blind. What we need to do is we need to determine which leg, which corner is the lowest. And we do that by simply putting a level on the perimeter angle. And the end of the level that you have to lift up is the low end. If you have to level, lift this side of the level up to get it level, that means this end is low, which is what we have right here. This leg is low. Come around on this side. Have to lift this end of the level up. That determines this end is low. So this leg is the lowest leg on the stand. So the first step is we're going to take one of our rebar pins and our hammer and we're going to drive it in this corner so it will not move. You want to drive this pin at a slight angle so it's harder for it to pull. Now that we have the pin drove in the low corner, we're gonna to move to the corner to the right or the left. It, it really doesn't matter which one. 
but that's our next step. And our level shows that we're just a small amount out of level. One of the things that we do is we take our hammer and we position it here with the rebar pin and the shovel. Put the shovel underneath the leg, lift it up just slightly. He'll hook the top, the top of the rebar pin underneath the two bolt heads and he can hold the corner of the stand up very easily. Take a shovel, dig a small amount out from underneath the leg. Trying to keep it level where you're digging. Then we'll let that leg down and recheck our level. Shows we we're right on. Now we're ready to move to the other leg, the other adjacent corner. Move our level. Once again, we'll hold that leg up just slightly. We'll let it down again and make sure that it's pushed all the way down to the ground and touches the ground. We're going to check our level again. Looks like we have to go just a little bit more. Now that we have those two corners dug level, and even though the stand still rocks, that's because we have the final corner to dig yet. We've pushed it down in the far corner, checked it with our level, it's level. We've pushed it down in this corner, checked it that it's level. Now we move our level on the side that the leg is touching the ground. We'll put our level between there and the final corner. And once again, we'll put our rebar underneath the corner of the leg. And this corner will have to go down quite a bit. Now that we have all four corners of the stand level, I like to grab a hold of the stand and shake it and see how solid we are just to make sure that we don't have anything sitting on a rock or it needs to be adjusted just a little bit more. And as you can see, it's already solid. Now our next step is we're gonna take the screw-in anchor and we're gonna position it as close as we can to center from this corner to this corner. We're gonna draw an X. We're gonna try to put that right in the center of the X. The screw-in anchor if your ground is rocky, it's going to be very tough to put this anchor in through the rock. Uh, in that particular instance, you're going to want to pre-drill a hole or have a pair of post hole diggers and a bar and probably a couple bags of quickcrete. We need to drill a, dig a hole about 12 inches in diameter, about two foot deep, and it'll take the two bags of quickcrete. You'll drop this in the hole and then pour the two bags of quickcrete in around it. If your ground is not rocky where you can screw this in the ground, you're going to want to screw this in the ground until you're clear up to the eye or that's approximately two foot deep in the ground to give it enough stability to hold the blind. We'll put the anchor in the ground and get it kind of started. We'll take one of our rebar pins and run it through the hole. And while we're applying down pressure, we're going to start screwing this in the ground. Now that we have our screw-in anchor in the ground, we're going to take our turnbuckle and we're going to open it as far as we can. And we're going to take the bolt out of the clevis end and put it back through the eye and the bolt back on. This nut takes a 13 millimeter wrench. Now we're going to take our two cable clamps, thread them onto the cable, through the eye on the turnbuckle, 
back through the cable clamp, putting the short end of the cable or the cutoff end of the cable to the loop side on the cable clamp. We're going to slide that cable clamp down, pull this cable tight. We're going to tighten up our cable clamps. After you get your cable clamps tight, you can take a wrench and put through the turnbuckle and tighten the turnbuckle. And you want to get quite a bit of tension on the cable. Now that we have the cable tight, we're ready to put the remaining three rebar pins. Just simply drop those in the hole, put them at a slight angle, and drive those in the ground, drive those in the ground until they are flush. The feet on the ladder <coughs> have a hole punched in them, but it is not necessary to put a pin in that. The thing that you want to do on a ladder is you want to make sure that if the ground is uneven, you may have to take a shovel and dig a small amount out from underneath one foot and then you just check your ladder and make sure that it's stable on the bottom. Periodically when you come back to your blind you might want to check make sure that the stand is still solid and stable uh, none of your bolts have worked loose and then you want to check this cable and make sure that this turnbuckle is still tight simply twist this turnbuckle to tighten this cable up uh, as the blind settles into the ground this cable will become loose it cannot come unhooked, but it could possibly get a little slack in it. So you want to check that. Now, you're, now that your redneck blind is fully assembled and everything's been checked and double checked, you're ready to start hunting.